A snowboarder's professional career is pretty short. I mean, when you're in motocross, <laughs> your shocks wear out, you put new shocks on. When as a snowboarder, when your shocks wear out, your knees, your ankles, back, when those wear out, you're done. <laughs> so unfortunately, yeah, the, the life expectancy of a professional snowboarder is pretty short. I feel like I've been blessed. I've been competing for 14 years. And just last season, I basically, actually this season really, uh, January, I pretty much pulled out of competitive snowboarding. And it's so hard to do. That changing point from when you're a kid to a teenager to a young adult, that's a huge point in your life. And when that's all you've known is competitive snowboarding and you try and back away from it, it's tough. Like, I don't know really how to go out and snowboard and not push myself. It's weird. It's weird to just go out and ride and actually step down. Um, I definitely have battles in my head, and all I, have, all I can keep doing is bring it before God and surrendering it to Him. Like, all right, God, what direction do you have for me? Where do you want me to go? Uh, it's pretty interesting doing that going into this winter. And somehow I ended up trying, I was so busy this winter. <laughs> like it was one of my busier winters in the last four or five years. And God was just using me. It was, it was pretty cool to be a part of his plan, just being able to surrender it to him. So I think it's a very difficult thing for a lot of professional snowboarders. I mean, I, as I look through a magazine, I just think about names that you just don't see anymore. They're just non-existent. What are they doing? A lot of guys have a tendency, like how are they gonna fill that void in their life? A lot of them fill it with drugs. Uh, fill, try and fill it with what money they have left over buying stuff. All of a sudden, that runs out. Then what? <laughs> um, but I'm actually really excited to move on to the next phase. Like I feel like I've been blessed with my career. And I'm actually psyched to be moving on. So psyched. It's it's cool because now when I go snowboarding, I'm really snowboarding for myself. I was always snowboarding for the filmer, my sponsor, I mean, that directed what kind of snowboarding I did. You know, trying to make the Olympics, all I did was ride half pipe. Trying to get a, a cover on a magazine, all I wanted to do was hit backcountry kickers or drop cliffs. Now I get to go out and just slash wind lips because that's what I'm doing. <laughs> just seeing how big a spray. I was laughing the day we were watching some footage, uh, doing all this POV stuff now. <laughs> you can see my head every time after a turn, like, Oh, how big was that spray? <laughs> so bad. I mean, I guess it's better than like dropping a cliff and then looking up the chairlift like, who saw that? But it's, at the same time, it's like, I have this uh, habit of looking at my spray that it's so funny. 